Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carly Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuz Lock Challenge. Let me get my microphone on the right side. I think this is the right spot. This will work, right? Let's get it. We're gonna fix there. That's better. That's. It feels better. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to, I think, head over to the Sylph Company and uh, try and clear out the rockets and boss rocket. Just get some grinding in for the team. Um, but. First, we are going to do some catching, or some attempted catching, because, because boy, certainly not a guaranteed thing on this show, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Um, but to that end, we have I have my notes here that say buy Pokeballs. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna buy the Pokeballs. We're gonna remember first. We're gonna I think we have something we can sell as well, right? We can sell the Stardust. Yeah, get get rid of it, see ya. And we can sell the... Do we have a nugget? I thought we had a nugget. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Whoops, I just went right past it. Great. And what's actually great is that we can buy, I think, Ultra Balls now. What? Yeah, we can buy Ultra Balls. Let's do it. Okay, let's just spend tons of, we have 35, that's so great. Should we get some of these too? Well, okay, we have 32 in bags. So, okay, there's that super potions. We're gonna, we're gonna stock up a little. We're just, we're gonna have, we gotta have stuff and we can get full heals. Let's get a few of those, that looks good. Let's get some repels. Let's do it, let's get like 10. We might need these in the, fu in the near future and I will explain why. Okay, so we just spent a lot of money. That was a big day at the March. That guy did not see us coming. He was like, whoa, we're gonna have to restock on inventory. But okay, so um, as I'm recording this, the most recent episode that just aired is where we caught Mythos the uh, Milotic. How's that for a different pronunciation? I think that's the correct one, Milotic. Um, I was like, Milotic, 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 obviously. Uh, and let's just say, and you guys, I put up a poll on the community tab and had you guys vote like would you be interested in seeing uh mythos on the team and while i was watching the premiere the answer was it felt like the answer was largely like no you could never do that to data you could never do that to keep data gang data strong data driven attacking um but on the poll it was more like it was closer to like two-thirds saying bring on bring on the mythos although some people some people can you even imagine this were like really you should replace happy with mythos i'm like I said, that, that, that's hilarious i would i would never i would never are you crazy no I, we could not do that now here's the thing it got me it got me very like there was a lot of joking around about should we do an all water team like could we just go just add to the challenge we'll go monotype nuzlocke right Here's the thing, and it it piqued my curiosity because a water team is realistically a rain dance team, right? It utilizes the move rain dance, which we've picked up. We have the TM for rain dance and many Pokemon that can learn it. And if we did that, what we would have was we actually, we have Mythos, obviously, the awesome Milotic. We have Mama Smurf. So we actually have a real, a fully evolved water uh, Pokemon who actually still has the fighting type on it. So we have that coverage going for us. And then obviously on team, we continue to have um, Happy, the Feraligator, the monotype water, just the ultimate leader. And we have Data the Dugong for the ice coverage. So we'd have two monotype waters. But here's the great thing about Rain Dance is that one of its effects is that it increases the accuracy of Thunder to 100%. So we could effectively still use Sporkles on a rain dance team, which was like very exciting to me. I was like, ooh, interesting. So um, that's that's something to consider. I like I like that it feels so seamless. Uh, and we have such strong Pokemon in this regard. So, but at the same time, obviously our actual team is so amazing. Like what who, Like what would we do? We did, did everyone see Benjamin in the last episode? Wreck freaking Koga at level 31? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, Benjamin's reception onto the team has been quite, quite, uh, I'm gonna say strong, if you'll forgive the, the play on words there. But um, obviously knocked out some pokes in a gym battle after just being on the team for moments. And everyone was kind of distraught still over Moirin's death. But um, look, Benjamin, he wasn't there for that. He didn't know, he, you know, and it's what's, what was comforting about his presence was that Benjamin 
clearly he knows about strength. And we have two Pokemon on the team specifically. Well, I mean, I say, I mean, just everyone on the team is interested in, in being strong. Specifically, CC, Dracus, and Happy. Sparkles can't help it. He's just, I mean, he's like so unbelievably powerful. And then you've got Data, who, just, I mean, is strong. Maybe not chief concern kind of thing, but um, is Benjamin the strongest Pokemon on the team? No. Are there other Pokemon who are actually stronger? Yes. But does Benjamin know the most about being strong? Yes. It is like the concept of strength. And uh, that strength was was much needed in um, coping with Moirin's passing. So that has been a good addition. So there's also that to consider, you know? Do we, do we, do we bring this person on? Now, you guys pointed out we can catch some Pokemon. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we can, we have a few catches that we just completely have disregarded so far. So we have this little pool here where we can fish for our Fuchsia City Pokemon. Who knows what that could be? That would be exciting. We can get something new. Um, we can get, we can go to routes 13 and 14, which I both just completely skipped over when I was going down them. So that's also good. So we have a chance to catch three Pokemon. Plus we get a gift Pokemon in the Silph Co. Um, and we get the Master Ball in the self Co, which means we could go legendary hunting, possibly next episode, which would be pretty exciting because, and now we're gonna come full circle here, to really, truly effectively have a rain dance team, we need Drizzle, the ability Drizzle, which is when a Pokemon is sent into battle, rain is immediately started. Now, as it were, there's only two Pokemon that have Drizzle. One of them, is Pelipper, who we actually ran into in the Safari Zone. The rain didn't start, although I don't know if like abilities work that way in uh, Safari battles, so don't know. Doesn't matter, didn't catch it. The other one is Kyogre. So, it seems to me that if we could, if, if we caught a Pelipper with Drizzle or Kyogre, uh, that would be like the sign from the Pokemon gods, right? That we should go for the full water. So we have three chances to catch a Pelipper right here. I mean, who knows? We could get just about anything. But that would be pretty crazy, right? Of course, then we'd also have to put Pelipper on the team. Um, not the worst not the worst Pokemon. Do we? Who do we put in front? I meant to put in Sporkles. Okay. For our ever-present strategy of uh, Thunder Wave Quick Attack. Instant transmission, right? Where's our Super Rod? So anyway, if we catch either of those, I think we have to do it. I think we'd have to go for it. We just have to. We'd have to make strong decisions and go for it. Um, we do have the Rain Dance TM, so we could activate the Rain either way. But to have an effect, if we're gonna go full in on it, we want to do it properly. And here's the thing: the way the legendary encounters are gonna work in this game is that they should still be where legendary Pokemon are but they will just be replaced. It won't be Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. It'll be any other legendary. That's how I th I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. How about a Nibble? Super Rod, super indeed. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, we got something. All right, this is our Fuchsia City encounter. What's it gonna be? <gasps> it's an Armaldo. It's pretty impressive looking. Pretty impressive looking, I dare say. Okay, all right, good stuff, Sporks. Let's see what we got here. Let's give it the old Thunder Woove. Yep, there it is, it's nice and paralyzed. Mud Sport, electricity's power was weakened. That's interesting, because now we could actually use Spark, right? I'm just gonna see how, let's charm it first, because we don't, this thing looks like a physical attacker. And I don't want it to hit us. Metal Claw, it missed anyway. Let's see how Quick Attack does, not very effective. Okay, should we try a Spark? Since electricity's power was weakened. Okay, actually that was a little better. This is working out. It's like he wants to be on the team. Armado, pretty cool Pokemon for sure. All right, let's do one more spark and then we'll start hucking balls at it. Here we go. Oh man, for a second I thought he got the crit. It wouldn't be the first time. Sporkles gets very excited. You guys know this, you guys know this. Oh gosh, Sporkles, what are we gonna do with you? You mighty little mining. Here we go, Ultra Ball. Oh no, it was so close. So if we go legendary hunting, one, we'll have the Master Ball, which would be cool. And so we can at least guarantee one catch. And the way I think we would do it is we would hope to catch Kyogre. That's what we'd be really hunting for. Of course, we have no control over it, 
but our odds are actually better than most situations because the only things it could be, if I understand how the randomizer works, are like Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Armaldo, get in the Pokeball. Um, it could be those three, Mewtwo or Mew, also amazing catches. Uh, you could have the three legendary dogs, Ho-Ho, Lugia. All, I mean, none are bad, right? And then you could have the um, Regice, Registeel, um, Regirock, uh, Rayquaza, Groudon, or Kyogre. Those are the those are the possibilities, I believe, when you uh, do this. I don't know. Is is Deoxys a Gen three? There might be something. There might be something else. Give a nickname to the capture on Maldo. Yes. All right. Hold on. We gotta go find a nickname. Hear me out. Yeah. Stanley. Stanley? Do you see a Stan? Oh, Stanley St Lathan. Stanley Lathan. All right. I like Stanley. Stanley. Stanley Yelnats. Yeah, that's his name backwards. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Make sure I get, yeah, the correct spelling of Stanley here. Stanley. Boom. Okay, welcome. This is for Stanley Lathan in the comments. Uh, on the episode 13. Stanley was transferred to Bill's PC and placed in the box four. Okay, excellent. Now, and from here, that's one catch we can do. Now we need to go over here. So that was route 15. We caught something on this route. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Oh no. No, that we are actually, this is actually what we already caught on this route was the sand true. So what we want, stop it. Oh, a hitmon Lee, man, that would have been a crazy catch. Oh man, okay, so now we're on route 14. So we can catch something else. Oh, the irony. We need something with cut. Do we need, do we absolutely have to have something? Oh no, I, I forgot to fight this person. Well, they're gonna die now. Oh, they're so gonna die. Forget it, Caravani, you're terrible. Get out of my way, Sporkle's gonna, let's try to learn thunder. Oh yes, we're gonna learn thunder, are you crazy? Oh man, we've been, oh gosh, but what did we get rid of? Spark is so reliable and it's accurate, so we like that. Quick attack is unstoppable. I think we gotta get rid of Charm. Let's just, I'm sorry. Charm gone, Thunder in. Mm-hmm, Sparkle's learned Thunder. Kaboom, let's test it out. Let's just give it the old Thunder. Oh, we missed, okay, you know what? It's our first try, it's okay. Sparkle's is excited, Sneeze a little fast, they use Quick Attack, see how fast it is. It doesn't matter. It used quick attack and then it stood still and then it died because it was struck by a bolt of minus energy thunder. Oh my goodness, what power. What power indeed. Oh gosh, I forgot to fight too many people. Ugh, Bennett. All right, you know what? How about thunder? Oh yes, look at that. Look at the animation for thunder. It looks so deadly. Oh man, and it is, and it is. Sparkle's just wrecking stuff, ghastly. Mm. Okay, we're gonna switch back to more accurate things. Yep, there we go. Sparkle's 570, kaboom, and Kagengar, and Kasparked, and your ghost Pokemon are, oh no, it lived. Nightshade, oh, okay, 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 I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that, I don't like the look of that, but you're paralyzed, and we obviously did more than half, so we're gonna spark you, and you're dead. Amazing, you went down in flames, indeed. More like lightning. I guess lightning could cause fire. That, uh, that seems like it makes sense to me. We're going to super potion on uh, Sporkles though because we took some damage there and didn't like that. Is, it, is there no other grass except right there? Oh my gosh, how many people did I not fight? I'm so sorry, you guys. And a Venusaur. Okay, well, uh, bring it on, dude. You know who's ready to fight some Venusaurs? Dracus. Dracus likes fighting Venusaurs because he has Aerial Ace, Razor Leaf, nothing. Here's, yeah. Yeah, you've got nothing. You're dead. Goodbye, Venusaur. I'm trying. I'm looking for giant pelican. Does Sporkles get another level? I didn't even realize how much experience he got in that last fight. Oh, it's actually a poison guy. Well, that's fine. I think we, I think we headbutt. Yeah, we headbutt. We win butt. There we go. Game sweat match. This guy and he's got a Weedle. You're all over the Venusaur and Weedle. All right, there. 38 countdown. <laughs> Dragon Breath, oh my gosh, we're gonna have a dragon move. Yes, thank goodness. Look at this, Sick. the foe is hit with an incredible blast of breath that may also, oh, it's so good. We're gonna get rid of Ember. 
It's so, because Ember is terrible and the other things are good. So yeah, I'm sorry, Ember, you're gone. We now have, look at this. This is like, we're learning such good moves. Prepare to get dragon breathed. Oh, it looks, it looks like Ember, but it is not. It is way worse for you, Zubat. Goodbye. Look out, we have a dragon type. All right. We're gonna have to teach someone cut. I'm gonna have to go to the box to do that. I can't, I can't give another member of the team cut. Now we're on Route 13, so we can at least catch something on this route. I think we have to... Is there... Is it grass? Are we blocked by cut in both directions, or can we... We can... Don't you dare. I think we can just... Should we fish, or should we grass? That's the question. You know what? I feel... It, mm, we are going for a Pelipper, so it feels like... You know what? We'll have to go in the grass in the other one. We're going to fish this one. We're gonna fish this one, and obviously it doesn't mean it has to be water type, but as we're going for a water type, as we're hoping it's a Pelipper, as we're looking for a sign from the Pokemon gods, we may as well. We're on Route 13. This is our Route 13 encounter. If we, well, we got something. It's on the hook. Here we go. What's it gonna be? It's a toe. <laughs> oh, now that's very interesting. Now that's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> guys, guys, look at this a torch trick. It's a torch trick. It's a toe, oh my guy. Like we, oh, oh, I want it. I want it. That's very exciting. Oh, how could we not? How could we not? Um, underway, man. How bad would it have been if I misclicked Thunder right there? That would have been the worst. Man, what do we hit it with? Focus energy. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, here we go. Let's just get Ultra Ball on it, right? Let's just do it. Mm-hmm. We can get it. One. No, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Why didn't I think? I'm very glad we fished. Look what was hiding in the water. A firebird. Phoenix, some would call it. Oh, we got it. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Guys, I don't think we can say no to that. I don't think we can say no to that. Look at, the, oh, this is a Torchic, Ben. A Torchic? It's a fire starter. <gasps> yes. It's like the Charmander of the Hoenn region. So it's basically Charizard. As far it's as basically as far. Charizard, is except cooler looking. I wish that we had enough text letters to name it basically Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty good. Okay. Um, but we need something good here. We need a name. Yeah, we need a name. How about, how about, how about Brad? Brad? Brad. <laughs> Brad. Brad, Brad, uh, Reichlick? How about Reichlick? Oh, Reichlick's pretty cool. Okay. Reichlick, okay. Good point, good point. Okay. okay. Right, it yes. kind of sounds like Torchic, like Reichlick. I love it. I okay. love Reichlick. All right, here we go. We're going with Rai... Reichlick. This is after Brad Reichlick. In the comments, here we go. Welcome to the box. Although, my goodness, I don't know how I can't put that on the team. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I love fire type Pokemon. And oh, my, this this guy. How many people could I frail the fight? How many? Go, ugh. Um, this got to be another poison guy or a ground guy. Let's go data. Tail whip. You've got nothing. We're going to go surf on you. Yeah, you're dead. Come on, Data. Get some levels here. Get some levels. Victory Bell. Um, if only we had a fire type, am I right? <laughs> Dracus. Vine Whip. Dragon Breath. Oh! Actually, we should have gone just Aerial Ace there. That's actually what's effective. We do resist, though. We do resist the grass attacks. I can't tell this guy. Yeah, this guy's poison. Yeah, okay. I was like, what is this guy I'm forgetting? Dragon Breath, you're dead. Think of Dracus getting them getting them knockouts all over the place all of a sudden. Going with the Dragon Breath. Curse! Oh, that's 
Well, it killed itself, so that's nice. You love it when the enemy just gives up and says, never mind, I'd rather die. Sporkle's on the Weedle here. Um, I don't want to say overkill, but I'm hitting that Weedle with thunder. Yeah, yeah, and a crit. Sporkles was not messing around. <laughs> okay, we're not going to fight that, though. Um, we're going to switch to CC for this muck. Look at this. I Here I was thinking, yeah, we're just going to... These catches won't take long at all. How dare you sludge me, sir? That is jerk breath. And a grimer. Okay, so let's just go strength. Knock it out. Bam. And now we can... Antidote, and we will make our way. We gotta go find someone who can learn. Uh, cut, and hopefully not fight anymore, people. My goodness. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go get someone. All right, we have gotten a Pokemon. I got um, Losty out of the box. The Sand Shrew to come use Cut for us. Bam, all right, you have unlocked a new territory. What could we run into? Could it possibly be better than Torchic? I doubt it. It's a Clefairy! Oh, that's adorable. That's just adorable. Look at that, we have Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff. We could, we have Pichu, we could have, we have Minin. We could have the cutest team ever if we really wanted. Um, I don't know if that is what we want. Go for the quick attack here. I think we got it. Oh yeah, we got it. Sporkle's nose to let up. Oh, we've been infected by cute charm. That's frustrating, but nonetheless, go Ultra Ball. Let's go, let's do this. Kabam. Ha, amazing. Look at that. Sometimes we have the worst luck catching and sometimes we catch three in a row. It's unbelievable. Uh, we need another nickname, Ben. Goodness I know, gracious. three in one day. I'm trying to do work over here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What do we got? We got a Clefairy. Here comes Jan. You gotta watch out for Jan. <laughs> you gotta watch out for Jan. No, no one's ready for Jan. All right, this is after Jan Star in the comments. Thank you for watching so much. There you go, Trent's to see. Oh boy, you guys. Now, all right. We have done what we had to do. I'm gonna go um, make some box switches. Oh no, there's another trainer we forgot. How and they've got a Paris, adorable, adorable. It's gonna get sparked. Oh, look at that, it survived because Paris is of course unbelievably good and useful and great in all situations. It's taken four attacks in a row from Sporkles and Poison Dust and then there's an, Armal an Armaldo. So um, everything's coming up coming up great. We're going to throw in CC here. Yeah. And we're going to throw in uh, a Brick Break here. So, that this was a surprisingly hard fight, obviously because we had they had a, um, a Paris, which what else would you expect from such terribly strong Pokemon? Uh, we need to make sure we antidote so we don't... I don't think you can die just walking, but I think you can get down to 1 HP. Either way, that's just rude to Sporkle, so we don't, we don't need that happening at all. Look, an Altaria in the grass. That would have been an interesting catch. Too bad we caught a Sand Shrew instead. There was also Gorbis in that grass, and Magby, and Hitmonlee. But hey, you know what? None of them could have used Cut. So, that's, uh, that's, that's the reality of the situation. The question is, you guys... Should we? Should we put on the? I don't know why all of a sudden the box got changed. But should we? Put, I feel like we should put Reichlich on the team. I feel like we should. But who should? I mean, levels wise, and I believe typing wise. Benjamin would be the one. Although we could just have two fighting types, right? We, I mean, to get rid of Cece. Cece's been here for so long. But guys, I mean, Benjamin has been so helpful recently. Mmm. We got through that gym. But also Blaziken, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got, you guys, but like Blaziken, am I right? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, it's a tough call. We know we can count on Benjamin, but I'm putting him right there in the box. It's happening, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Benjamin fans out there. This is where we're at. Now we're going to head to Saffron City. You know what? I should have... <laughs> okay, I'll see you in Saffron. I'm going to fly there, but I don't want to subject you to all of the annoying parts. All right, so real quick before we start to go fighting the rockets, let's get a quick look at Reichlich here. What, what, what are we working with? Growl, Focus Energy, Ember, and Peck. So nothing good at all. That's just... Those are not good attacks. Can we, do we have anything we can um, teach him TM wise? Let's see, let's see. We could probably actually give him fly now that I come to think of it. I was wrong, he's a bird. What was I thinking? That was ridiculous. Roar, Toxic Bullet Seed, Sunny Day, Rain Dance. There's Rain Dance, it's there. We have Shockwave, we have Breast Attract, Steel Wing. Steel Wing? No, he's a bird, what was I thinking? That's ridiculous. Okay, so maybe we don't have many good options. That doesn't matter. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of switch training as we work our way through the rocket uh, tower and we're going to heal up because it looked like Sporkles was somehow hurt right there. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. You know, we're gonna evolve into Combuskin real quick, hopefully, right? And we're just gonna fight trainers and we'll just see what happens. Hey kid, what are you doing here? Ah, Charmeleon, look, now immediately we're against fire types. So we're just gonna switch out to data, no problem. Growl, not a problem, because we're just gonna surf our way through. Kabam, kadead, kaha. Yeah, Vulpix. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that the switching will, I guess we'll only get like the first trainer's worth of experience. Look at this guy, he's got all the starters. Maybe he's gonna have a Charizard or a, a Combuskin himself. He has a Torchic, wow, what do you know? This guy is like a serious fire trainer. He's been collecting. <clears throat> Not gonna matter, because we're just gonna surf everything dead. Makes a very easy fight for data. Well done, good job all around. Uh, here we go, let's fight this guy. It's off limits here, go home. I will not go home, you go home. Oh, what a polyworld, we don't like to look at that one bit. You know who does like to look at that polyworld? Sporkles. He's just gonna just totally wreck this thing. Let's go, hit it with a spark. Yeah. Reichlich, yes. Already up to level 18, just flying up the charts. As no one, uh, let's hit this thing with a thunder. Oh no, we have been hit with rapid spin. Okay, that's not a big deal. Sparkles, what are you doing? Don't be intimidated by the giant turtle. You got this. It doesn't matter that he has two literal guns coming out of his back. You hit it with thunder. Exactly, exactly, you get it. And a cloister, we're just gonna spark this one dead. Honestly, I should have just kept using spark because of the accuracy. But I just like letting Sporkles flex, you know? Who doesn't? 39 on the Spork. Boom, dead Spork. You're good. Yes, we are good. Oh, look at that. Reichlich is evolving. Oh my goodness. Who could have seen that coming? Ha <laughs> ha. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh man, we now we have a Combuskin on the team. That's pretty cool. We have a fire. That's pretty cool. Got that fire coverage everyone's been asking for. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, oh, get Blitz out of the daycare. I'm like, I was, you know, look, look, now we have, we have a fire type. I like fire types, you guys. Oh, no kids are allowed in here. Okay, fine, chill, man. It's fine. We got, look how, look how stunning Raish looks. It's a great back sprite, dare I say. Okay, this guy, uh, we're gonna send in Data to go ahead and wreck him. Bite, how about Aurora Beam, bro? Okay, yeah, you're dead. And a dragon. So this guy's straight up dragon trainer. These guys are not messing around. It would be it would be interesting if like Peaches or uh, Giovanni ended up as like a dragon trainer because that would be tough. It it was pointed out to me that Peaches has been getting the monotype treatment along with everyone else. He's just had such crazy variety that I didn't even notice. Like it's the which is I, 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 pretty cool, I guess. Um. Weirdly, so he'll always have the um, the Pidgeot, or the Pidgey, the Pidgeotto, but uh, he will always otherwise have a different, not always, I guess he could be a flying or a normal type trainer as well. Oh, we are significantly lower levels though, aren't we? Um, we're gonna bring in Happy here to, looks like this guy's a psychic trainer. Uproar, mm -hmm, making an uproar, how about we're just gonna bite you? Yeah, you're dead. Reichlich grew to 19, yes. Excellent. Yeah, you're about to get destroyed, dude. I'm gonna brick break it, actually. Yeah, that's nice. He's actually so weirdly. Peaches has also had a cact. Oh no! Oh whoa! This is 
Oh, yikes. This is scary. Okay. Um, this requires thought. This is not cool. Oh. Ooh, uh, oh, no. Oh, we can't switch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's hit it with something light, like a bite. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, that was... <sighs> we were just against a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffets can only use counter or shadow tag, which deals back double damage to what you do to it, and they have really high HP. Fortunately, Happy one-shot it. They also do shadow tag, so you can't switch Pokemon, so whoever's in there is at the mercy. Oh, that was scary. Like, I could not tell you that was about to be the worst day ever. That was about to be the worst. Because we put in Happy. Wow. Wow, that guy was... We, okay, if we see Psychics, we gotta be real careful. What am I to do? I don't know why I took that warp pad. Did I already fight this guy somehow? Oh, gosh. Item! Focus Punch! That's cool. I accept that. That's a good item. Oh, did that, does that just go from here to there? That is the worst warp pad ever. Okay, fourth floor. New item. Torment, okay. Let's fight this guy. Intruder spotted! That Wob, I am freaked out on that Wobbuffet. Man, that was scary. Can you imagine if we lost Happy? That's one of the ways the Nuzlocke can get you is with uh, Wobbuffets. Things with Shadow Tag can be very scary. If you don't know what Wobbuffet does, it can, yeah, I just explained it. It can only, it uses two attacks, Mirror Coat and Counter, and both of them, um, do the exact same thing. They just deal back double damage based on the amount you hit them with, and they have really high HP, so it's hard to hit them and knock them out in one shot. So the fact that Happy did it, he knew what was at stake. He knew what was potentially incoming. That's why I was trying to hit it with something that would do a little bit of damage, and then... Um, hopefully hit it with something that would finish it off so that even if he countered us, we would not have been... We need a switch. Um, not very effective indeed. Yeah, super effective. Bam. These guys have had some interesting Pokemon. The Crobat, not cool, not cool. Not cool at all. But we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep getting our uh, Combuskin, our Reichlicks, um, much needed XP. Need data here. Gosh, that Wobbuffet. Man, I'm so glad we haven't run into a bunch of those. Whew. They can, they can get you. I mean, it's just, the, it's just like the self-destructs. It's just like their little traps. You know, oh, a Scizor. That'd be cool. Maybe that'll be the gift Pokemon. So the way, in case you're wondering, we talked about it in another, a different episode, but the gift Pokemon... The Sylph Tower is like bigger than the rest of Saffron altogether, so it just counts as its own area. So the gift Pokemon is still fair game, even though we got um, Benjamin from the from the gym. Are you a g yeah? Hey, enjoy your silly games. We like to battle Altaria. Uh huh. Okay, no problem. Data, get in here. Sing. Oh, lame. Let me headbutt it. We got missed it. Okay, I'm gonna roar beam. Uh-huh, not concerned. Aurora Beam dead. Yes, nicely done. Rise recruit to level 20. Here we own a Kingdra. Okay, it's so actually a pretty interesting matchup because the Aurora Beam won't do as much damage. Let's see how much Aurora Beam does. Smoke screen? How dare you? Uh, headbutt? Oh, okay. I feel like Data's got this anyway. Yeah, no problem. You can't smoke screen Data. Like data does, he's like, okay, yeah, I know where you are. I've examined, I've examined the data, and I know where you are. So, um, here we go. Three items in here. Welcome to tenth floor. So good of you to join me. <laughs> it was no trouble at all, sir. Armaldo. Everyone's gotten Armaldo today. It's like the day of the Armaldo. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go happy. Protect failed. We're gonna go surf. Bam. Yeah, Raish to 21. Trying to learn Sand Attack. Wow, that's an interesting move for a level 21. Uh, better than 
growl, I suppose. Never know when a good sand attack might help you. All right, we're, we're looking good. One Carbos. You know what? We could probably go buy another Brick Break. Oh, another rare candy. You know who's getting that? Oh, and Ultra Ball. Okay. That's going to totally be for... Um, I think we're looking for the... Oh, no, wait, go down. I think we're looking for, I think it's the seventh floor. I can never remember which one this thing is on. No, sixth floor? Where is the actual item we're looking for? That'll make the whole tower more fun. Fifth floor? I think it's this one. Because it's way over here, right? Yeah, you gotta, this tripped me up forever as a kid. You gotta do this and then come back. And now you can go over here and find the card key. Yeah, there it is. I heard a kid was wandering around. Well, you heard right. I've been dropping people. Oh, could we fight this? That'd be risky. Let's not. Let's just let Dracus knock this out. Let Reichla continue to just absorb XP. No problem. We got it. Did that guy say boom dead ha? He must not have. That'd have been ridiculous. Door is open, third floor. Actually, I think this is the floor we want to be on. I think in here is where we want to go. No, it's not. Ninth floor. Oh. Ah, okay. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. They sure do. They sure do. Actually, we ended up exactly where I wanted to be, so this worked out. Sparkles, get in here and take down this Whalmer. Whirlpool. Vortex is trapped. So I don't think we can switch out, but I don't think it's a real problem either because we're all set. Seeking, also no problem. Spark. Sparkles is just having himself a day wrecking everyone in sight. There we go. Also dead. Well done. And now we can go in here. And this girl, I believe, heals us, which is nice. And then I want to say, I thought this took you to the... Um, the f man I was almost positive that's the one that took you to the uh, peaches but ah it's this one okay okay so we could sit here and fight the rest of the freaking tower but I don't know that I really want to um, and honestly we're all healed up I don't think we're gonna lead with um, Reichlich on this fight because it's it's the peaches fight and that's more dangerous so I think what we're gonna lead with the CC um, Raj, look, you're doing great, bud, but And that guy right there, next to Peaches, is the one who will give us our free Pokemon. Who knows what it could be? It's normally a Lapras, but we'll see. Um, don't know what Peaches is going to have. We have to remember, he will be Monotype plus Pidgeot. And I think it will be the full Pidgeot, but that's, you know, Minin's got that number. We'll just hit it with Thunder. We got the number, we hit it with Thunder. That almost rhymes, right? Okay. Here we... Go! All right, Peaches, what you want? What kept you, Jane? <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. No, not that I care. Ugh. That was him coughing, not me. <coughs> that was me. It's contagious. <laughs> eh, rival Peaches would like to battle. He said, oh, no, he's got... Oh, oh, no. He's, he, of course, of course he is. Clear body. Look, he's even ready for Cece. He's prepared for our strategy. He knew. All right, we're just gonna brick break this thing right in its dumb face though. Prepare to get brick brook. Oh, it did not do as much as I wanted. I guess because the psychic resists us. Okay, scary face. So that lowers our speed. That's not great. Um, if we use dig, is he smart enough to switch? Let's find out. Use confusion, oh gosh. Oh wow, oh that was a crit. Man, look at this, Peaches came to play. He's got a Matang. He's gonna have either a lot of steel types or, oh my gosh, what if he is a psychic trainer and what he's got, what if he has a Wobbuffet? What if Peaches has a Wobbuffet? How are we gonna do that? Later on, okay, so he's actually a steel trainer. That's annoying, but not impossible. Let's switch to data. I'm, I'm glad he's not a Psychic trainer because because if he had a Wobbuffet that would have been that'd be such a peaches move though, wouldn't it? Of course look at this. He knows we missed that Beldum. He knows it, and he's like I know how to wow look at this though. He's he's not playing terribly um, We're gonna switch to I think we could go Dracus 
We could go Dracus, right? Because we can resist the thunder. Uh, and just let's just hit it with Dragon Breath. Thunder Wave, of course. Um, that's no problem. He's doing Lock On. Paralyzed. Well, that's just great. Maybe we should switch. I don't want to be hit with whatever he's about to shoot at, that Zap Cannon or something. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Magnetons are a annoying problem. Let's. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to do happy because it hits with something electric. Sparkles could probably take an electric attack, but we can't really dole out the damage in return. Let's just. Let's just stay in. And we're just going to heal off the paralysis. That's what we're going to do. Let's get our. Okay, I know he used. Oh, he used lock on again? Okay, so that's weird. I guess he's really loaded up. Uh, Dragon Breath. We hit, we hit him with the paralysis, so that's nice. And he's going with Thunder Wave, so he's. he's uh, now we're both. Now we can go for the Para Flinch, though. Yeah. We can either get him to flinch. <coughs> or get him to be stuck on paralysis. He's used lock on several times. He obviously doesn't know what it does. And we haven't paralyzed even once, so we're doing pretty good. Of course, as soon as I say it, I think we got lucky that he just kept using lock on though. I'm not sure why that's happening. He's got a Magnemite now. Goodness, let's try and paralyze this one too. Hopefully this one's just as dumb. Why do they keep using lock on? I don't understand. Is, is this like a AI problem? What is going on here? This is very weird. Stop being paralyzed, Dracus. You can do this. There we go. Okay. One more. Ugh. Dragon Breath. There we go. Okay. I think he's just got the Pidgeot left now. Yeah. There it is. Big Pidgeot. We're just going to bring a Sporkles. We're not afraid. We're only one level down, honestly. He uses that wing attack. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Not very effective. Uh, we're going to make it rain thunder and lightning down on this thing. Oh, we went for the quick attack, though. Oh, my gosh. He hit us with the crit. And we missed. Oh, no. Wow. That was not great. That was not great. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can't believe we missed the... Quick attack again. He knows. He knows. He's like, I know how to fight Sporkles. You gotta go quick attack for quick attack. That's how you do it. But the thunder should pretty much just destroy him. No problem. Yeah. All right. You put up a good fight, Peaches. You, uh, you know, you use dirty tactics as you typically do. Try to frighten us off with the, the Matang. I'll assume that was the Beldum. You know, that was probably the Beldum, which he evolved. My genius, you would have go to the Pokemon League to beat the Elite Four. Well, good luck. Don't sweat it. Smell you later. <laughs> All right. See ya. All right. Here's our free Pokemon. What's it going to be? <clears throat> I want you to have this Pokemon. A Lapras. It said Lapras to this Cactor. And that's hilarious. Um, I'm going to name you. I don't even need to look. I'm going to name you Sly, because I know we have someone named Sly Cactus in the comments. <laughs> so welcome, Sly, to the box. That's cool. All right, free Pokemon. Hooray, very intelligent. That's a very intelligent Cacturn we just got. This guy is convinced it is a, uh, a Lapras. Oh, oh, whoops. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the uh, nurse real quick to heal. And now we're going to go fight... Giovanni, and we're going to call that probably the episode, provided that, you know, nothing catastrophic happens. In which case, obviously, that will also be the episode. Our 11th floor. Da, da, da. Here you go. I don't know why they put this random in-between trainer, as if he's going to do anything. Altaria. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot to switch back to um, Reichlich. It's okay. Data's got this. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go Aurora Beam. Is this guy going to be a Dragon Trainer or a Flying Trainer? Let's find out. Flygon. Okay, so yeah, it's straight up... Um, straight up Dragon Trainer right out here. So Giovanni's upgraded his bodyguards by significant portions. 
and a Bagon. Okay, well, we know about Bagon, so let's go with the Focus Energy, though. I don't love that. Not gonna matter. We one-shot it with Aurora Beam. It's dead. Don't, please. Uh. All right. So now, let's see. I think we're just gonna lead with CC, um, because why wouldn't we? Um, ah, Jay, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters or experience a world of pain. Bring it on, dude. All right. We are meeting again. What's he going to be this guy? Oh, no. He's a fire trainer, and he also has a combusket. That's hilarious. Uh, that's so funny. What are the odds? What are the odds? Let's just smack his down with strength. Wow. Interesting. This is actually going to be a pretty easy fight, I'm thinking, because if he just has all fire types, um, we're just going to bring in Happy and really let him have it. Oh, no, it's a fighting type. He's all fighting type. Okay. Okay, different, different, different approach then. Um, up, 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 up. So in that case, CC is less good in this particular situation. What we want is, I think, Dracus to come in. <clears throat> oh, no, high jump kick. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Woo, okay. That was scary. That was scary. We lived it, and we could take another if we have to. That was scary. Gosh, that was not cool at all. Not at all, not at all. Let's aerial, uh, aerial ice. Oh, gosh. Oh, that did nothing. Amazing. Okay. Although, it did 10, and the first one did 43. So, we should still be good. I don't know what else he has. Jeez, though. Let's do a protect. Let's just see. Maybe this will make it calm mind. Oh, I don't like that at all, but it's special attack. So that's not really happening with his physicalness. Let's just go aerialized. Oh, no. Oh, he missed. Oh, he crashed. Oh, he aerialized. Man, my heart skipped a beat just now. Like, that could have that could have been bad. That could have been very bad. Freaking fighting types. Okay. Blaze. Oh, he has a blaze again. Oh, gosh. Okay. 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 Jeez. Okay. Let's bring it happy. Man, it's like he knows. It's like, hmm, they know. They know what we're up to. These bad guys, man. Oh, you going for the sand attack? Okay. I'm going to go for the surf. Happy does not, Happy is not afraid of this blaze again. Yeah. All right. Happy's like taking notes. He's like, this is how you don't be a blaze again. 39. Countdown. Man. And the heart. Oh my gosh. He's got all of us. <laughs> what is happening? Why is the game doing this to us? Uh, okay. Um, oh, gosh. I think we're okay. I mean, we're six levels up. Let's just surf it. Right? Oh, it's, Whirlwind knows who's to bring it out. No, this is not a good one. This is a bad. We don't want to fight. No, bad. Okay, let's... Oh, I would say CC for the Intimidate, but also, let's just... I don't want CC to get hit by a fighting type move, so let's just throw back Happy. Stop it! Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Let's heal. Let's heal. We can do this because now we have Aerial Ace in the mix, so let's just Super Potion on Dracus. Knock off. Nothing. Aerial Ace. That should do it, right? Right? Come on. Oh, Hariyama Smelling Salt. What does that do? Ugh. Man, sometimes they use attacks, and I'm like, I don't know what. Uh, smelling so does more damage if you're paralyzed, so that's what it does. Um, which we're not. Rush Liquid to 22. What? Oh, look at that. We got experience because we managed to get into the fight. Boy, that was tricky. Fighting type tricky. If Sabrina is a fighting type, Jim, that could be a problem. Blast it all! You ruined our plans for Sylph. The team rocket went to fall. Jay, never forget that Pokemon is a team rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Okay. Master ball, please. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Yeah, maybe this will do. Wow, oh, the Master Ball. Wonderful. All right. Now we can go legendary hunting, my friends. <laughs> that should be fun. All right, well, that was quite an exciting episode. We got four new Pokemon, one of which made it onto the team. Reichlich the Combuskin. 
We will um, be legendary hunting very soon. We have the Master Ball. We fought Peaches. We defeated Giovanni. It was a great day. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. But until next time, bye. Dead spork.